Hey, what's going on? It's me again. You know what time it is. Quick question. Can we stop celebrating New Year's in the middle of winter? First, we don't need calendars to tell us when the new year begins. The new year begins whenever the first seeds bear the first fruit and flowers. Second, King Numa Pompilius, or Emperor of Rome, Rome again, is the grandfather of the Gregorian calendar that we still follow to this day, and he only added January and February so that we could align our calendars with the lunar year because that's how they worship. Three, we all watching this video probably speak basic Latin, basic Spanish. We understand octo, ocho, octopus, octagon mean eight. We understand nueve, nove, nobente mean nine, nine, and ninety. We understand diez, dec, decimal, decagon mean ten. If octo, nove, and dec mean eight, nine, and ten, then why are October, November, and December our tenth, eleventh, and twelfth months? They shifted three. You understand? So if we shift three from December, that's January, February, March, meaning March, the beginning of spring, i.e. when the first seeds bear the first fruit and flowers is when the new year really begins. You understand? And it goes on to say that if we start from March, let's count March, April, May, June, July is the fifth month. August is the sixth month. September is the seventh month again. October is the eighth month again. November is the ninth month again. And December is the tenth month again, ending the year, starting back over in March. The thing that we don't understand is that all of our days do not have the same time. All of our days are not the same length, are not the same duration. This is why the summer solstice is not the same day every year. There is not the same amount of time in every year. There is not the same amount of time in every day. This is a provable fact. Which is why June 29th this year, during the summer solstice, we had the shortest day ever in recorded history, right after we had three supermoons and two eclipses, but right before they fought the Large Hadron Particle Collider. They want us to be giving our New Year's affirmations during the time of Nimrod's birthday, or the celebrations of Saturnalia and Marduk, which are Babylonian practices, so that we can misappropriate our vibrations. We're supposed to be giving our New Year's affirmations and manifestational vibrations when the earth is giving the vibration to create life in spring when we bear fruit. Do we understand these things? And I love you, so I'm gonna tell you the truth. So can we please stop wasting these New Year's affirmations? Can we please stop wasting this manifestational energy? Can we please stop even giving this Christmas thing a shot? But that's a whole nother question. That's a whole nother video. But at the same time, I love y'all today. I don't know if anybody told you today, but I love you. I love you. I love you first. And if I did love you first, then I'm up one. So with everything that's been said, I love you. I love you. And I love you. Unconditional love, infinite light, always connect all things.